Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video I'm going to be putting together a custom keyboard for you guys. This is a Ninja 71 from Monster Gear. It makes some, I would say, mid-range to higher end keyboards depending on which ones you go with. Um, this one I think was only like $110 plus shipping and whatnot. I like it because it's acrylic, 65%, so it has the arrow keys as well as some of the other keys. Honestly, I never need, really just wanted the arrow keys to be honest, and a delete button which is good for like editing and all that good stuff. So that's why I decided to go with this board. They gave me some extra like Gatoron green switches or something like that. And they were pretty tactile. They weren't very loud, but I kind of like it. I don't know, maybe I'll do a board with those switches in the future as well. But one of the big reasons why I got this board, it is hot swap compatible. So I can pop the switches in and out super easily without soldering. When I put together my Am Pro 2, don't get me wrong, it's not really bad. Like just soldering it the first time, desoldering and resoldering and all that stuff. If you ever want to swap your switches, is just annoying. So that's why I decided to go hot swap for this one, especially since it's gonna be my main. If I find a switch that I like better and I want to swap it into this one, then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I'm not sure uh, how soon that will happen right now. I'm using the Novel Keys Cream switches that I did mod in this video as well. I ended up lubing them as well as filming them. And I will put some sound tests in here as well of how they sound stock, how they sound lubed, and how they sound filmed so that you guys can tell the difference on your own. I also did swap out the stabilizers of this keyboard as well. The stock stabilizers weren't bad, but they weren't amazing either. Where the cherry stabilizers are a lot better, so that's why I went ahead and swapped the stabilizers for the OEM cherry stabilizers. Lubed them myself. I didn't do the Band-Aid mod. I don't have any Band-Aids to be honest, and I wasn't really overly concerned about it, but I will say that the stabilizers sound notably better than they did before. As you guys can probably tell, I went with kind of like a beach-ish theme. So I went with the Taiha Hawaii keycap set that I got from mechanicalkeyboards.com. Not gonna lie, these are not the absolute best keycaps I've ever had. They're decent, but they're kind of grainy. I don't mind the graininess. I think because it kind of fits in with a the theme that I'm going for, you know, the beach theme and whatnot. So I'm kind of cool with it and it does feel different, but I will say that my Matrix keycap set is a lot smoother than this one in terms of how they feel. These are double shot PBT and they do look fantastic, but they do have a little bit of a rougher sandy texture. And then for some of the keys on the right side of the board, I just got some blank white caps because um, yeah, I just, the other ones didn't really fit in. The heights were not aligned. So I just got some similar height blank white keycaps to fill in the gap. And I never really use those keys anyways, just page up and down and something else. So I didn't really worry about having the names on them and whatnot. I'd rather have the colors match and look a lot nicer. Of course, had to get the space cable that matched with the blue and orange and the black aviator looks so clean. I did make a video of that cable as well on the channel. It will be linked in the description below as well as space cables. Feel free to check them out. Um, I don't know which site I'm going to put. I'll put their Instagram and Twitter links though so that you can find the new space cable site because they're going through uh, some maintenance. So feel free to do some Googling and make sure that you get to the right space cable site because their quality is unmatched. Well, yeah, after I was done with all the mods of this board, um, I'm pretty happy, I'm not gonna lie. The mouse pad, I like a lot, it's orange, but it's not the best performing mouse pad. I got it from Novel Keys and it works pretty good, but I will probably end up switching this out for an Odin Gaming mouse mat again when they come out with the bigger version and the blue version of their mouse pad. I'll probably be switching right back to that and it can't come soon enough. The only thing I could say that I really don't like about this board is probably just that the sides aren't frosted acrylic as well. I don't know, maybe in the future I might end up getting a Tofu 65% keyboard as well and maybe doing a comparison. Not sure, but I do like the board as a whole. I like it a lot. Maybe I'll frost the sides myself if I figure out how to do it correctly without messing it up, but I don't know. For right now, I don't mind it. At least the top and bottom are frosted, which to me is the most important part because that's where um, you know I'm looking most of the time. So the size, I really don't mind. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of this board? I've gotten a lot of comments about it in like the past, I don't know, five or 10 videos that I've uploaded. And I've had this footage on my computer for a while and I was like, eh, I don't really feel like shooting something new today. Let me go ahead and uh, finish shooting whatever I needed for this video and finish editing it and get it out so that I can answer all you guys' questions. And you guys can see where to get this board if you wanna get one for yourself. On Monster Gear site, they do have quite a bit of color options as well. 
So you can uh, feel free to check those out and see if they have something that appeals to you. Another thing I do wanna say before I end this video, I did film all of these switches. So the reason why I filmed the switches, one, I've already got them taken apart and the little mod doesn't take that long to do and it does make a very small difference in how consistent all of your switches sound so if you lube them all and you film them all they'll all sound very similar to each other and they won't have a lot of variation where if you just lube them um, i noticed that one the switches wobble a little bit more and two um, they sound not the same like some switches sound better than others and the filming for whatever reason really helps out with all of those issues but that's gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new i'm gonna head out and let you guys listen to some chill lo-fi music for the rest of the video as well as a couple of sound tests to hear the difference between all the switches and with the keycaps on and off and all that good stuff drop a like subscribe if you're new i will catch you in the next video